so pleased you could join me guys for this fourth gold camo unlocking now the assault rifles the icr1 if you've caught my other previous gold camo unlockings you'll know i'm going down through the table step by step in our way to getting closer to that diamond camo so this is the icr1 assault rifle guys this is a really cool weapon to use i do like this one probably so far out of the four assault rifles that i've camoed up so far as you know guys you need to get the five headshots first on the try on the jungle tech camo there and then work your way down to the plitz here to get 100 headshots in total then the specialist um, challenges then become unlocked so you start off with the 10 long shot kills which are reasonably easy i've got them in other videos if you want to watch them guys in how to get them we then move on to the burn which is 50 kills without any attachments the bliss here what we're seeing at the moment 50 kills with five attachments a little bit more harder that one then we get the battle camo which is two rapid kills now this is the one that i'm going to talk about most of all because in previous gold camo unlockings i've left the long shot kills mostly till last but also some attachment challenges i've left till last as well but this now to change things around I'm showing you how to do the bloodthirsties okay so i've left the bloodthirsties till last on this video now, I wouldn't say camp around too much, guys, when you're trying to get the bloodthirsty mezzles. It's up to you how you do it. You can camp around if you want. I try and find if I get my bloodthirsty, it's nice and easy. It's kind of get a kill. Keep in the same area, obviously. Don't run around too much because you'll run out into the open. You'll get shot. But if you get a kill, try and move straight away so that you're changing your location. Because remember, if you shoot somebody, they're going to be trying to chase you down. They're going to be gunning for you, something wrong to try and get you back, okay? So you've got to make sure if you haven't got any tacticals around you to protect you when you are trying to get these blood thirsties. But remember, guys, if you do get a kill from another tactical okay if you've got booby trapped the room or something just in case somebody come up behind you and you get that kill it won't even though you'll get bloodthirsty come up in the medal okay you won't get that bloodthirsty medal to add towards your challenges because the five bloodthirsty medals have got to be with the icr or whatever weapon that is you're using all the way through the five kills okay so you can't get kills any other way as you see here, I'm kind of killing and I'm moving. Okay, kill, move to another location because they're going to be looking for you in that same location. But if you keep hiding, you will get those bloodthirsty medals. It's probably one of the hardest challenges that you can do, as I said before, but I really do like doing the bloodthirsty challenges because it gives you a good challenge yourself. And it makes you feel good as well once you have got those five kills because you feel like, you know, you've got so much power, you can go around and kill the whole lot of them where <laughs> no one's going to kill you. As you see there, guys, that's the Bloodthirsty Medal that I've just got there. So that's for my first five kills. We're now going to move on to another Bloodthirsty Medal. So I'm now changing the location on the Nuketown map. We're not going to camp in that room anymore at the top there. We're going to just prove to you, really, guys, that you can get Bloodthirsty Medals wherever on the map. It's just a matter of how tactical you actually create your game. You've got to make sure you keep moving, as I said before. Um, just make sure that, you know, you are looking for the enemy at all times. Keep checking your map. Even though we've got the, um, the map kind of not working at the moment because someone has had a, um, a UAV counter attack there so you know it's hard to see the enemy but again where you can't see the enemy just hide up somewhere try and keep out of sight now I'm all over the map here as you can see and I'm still going to manage that bloodthirsty medal so it proves you don't have to keep camping around in the same position like some of you guys do it's so annoying it gets so boring challenge yourself guys you don't have to sit in the same room you know Get those bloodthirsty medals out in the open, prove what a great player you are, and like I said, those bloodthirsties will come. So I'm going to get another bloodthirsty here, and I've got one more to show you after this one. Um, as I said before, guys, this actual um, ICR-1 assault rifle, I think so far, has been the best one of all that I've used. There's that bloodthirsty guy, so that's the second bloodthirsty I've shown you. Now, this last one, okay, is where I do unlock the gold camo, so you can see, you'll see this as well. And like I said, I've changed location, location again. I'm behind the car now on the Nuketown map just to prove to you, you know, where you are on the map. You can always get a bloodthirsty medal, okay? But so uh, yeah, the ICR-1 is a very, very good weapon. I do really like using it. It's a shame once I have got this to gold now because I probably won't use it again. It's because I'm now moving on to the next one after this. But, um, you know, give it a go, guys. 
Um, try and watch my gameplay if you can, if it helps you to get the bloodthirsties. Um, in regards to perks, when you're trying to go after the bloodthirsties, or try and have cold blooded on if you can. Try and have your flat jacket on as well because it helps you. If enemy are chucking grenades at you because they know roughly where you are, you know, you're going to die easy and that's going to be the end of your bloodthirsty run. So please try and keep on the hop, guys. Use those perks as I just said there. That's just a couple I can help you with. So there's the bloodthirsty. That's the last one, guys. There's the gold camo. So like I said, it proves you can do this, okay? Very easy to get the blood through, especially on Nuketown map. So, um, right, basically what we're going to do now then, guys, we're now going to go through that last camo with you, which is the chameleon, which is what we got through getting those five bloodthirsties, and then you get the gold camo. So it's an amazing feeling when you do get it, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helped in some way. Please leave comments if you want to, if I can help you in any way. This is the fourth one now, so I'm going on to the fifth one. I hope you can join me for that, guys. Peace out.